Read the question. Let's have the format of trading account. Firstly, we begin with the debit side. Look carefully. Here, we don't have opening stock. For the time being, let's proceed further. Here, we have adjusted purchases instead of only purchases. Now, what does this adjusted purchase mean? It implies that opening and closing stock have already been adjusted from the purchases. Algebraically, adjusted purchases is represented by this equation. Thus, in this case, even if opening stock would have been given to us in the question, then also we would have ignored that. Similarly, for closing stock also, we won't be considering it in the trading account. Now, simply show adjusted purchases here on the debit side like this. Next, we transfer both these direct expenses to the debit side of the account. Now, we come to the credit side of the account. Here, we have these three sales figures. Now, let's quickly recall the formula for sales. It is cash sales plus credit sales. It also includes any sales made to the foreign companies too. So, the total amount of sales, that is 2,97,000, is shown here on the credit side like this. Now, at last, we are left with closing stock. So, let's recall the formula of adjusted purchases once again. Here, we can see that closing stock is included in adjusted purchases. That means, if we show closing stock in the trading account, then we will be double counting the amount of stock. Hence, we won't be recording the closing stock in the trading account in this case. However, you should make it a point that when we will prepare balance sheet, the closing stock will be shown on the asset side. But as of now, let's get back to the trading account. Thus, now we can close this account. Clearly, it can be seen that the credit side is greater than the debit side. So, the difference amount is regarded as gross profit and is shown here like this.